Hi, Cancer. Let's take a look at the next 48 hours for you. I hope you all are doing amazing. Let's get into it. So your first card out is ascetic. It says taming, <laughs> excuse me, y'all, self-control, um, seeker of self-restraint, absence, purification, and discipline. This is the strength card. So this will be Leo energy. You could be connected to a Leo or you could be on the Cancer Leo cusp or just have Leo in your chart. Um, this The strength card is actually Leo sun energy. So again, you could be on the cusp or connected to one. Okay, let's get into it. So that's going to be maybe a need to control yourself. This can talk about temptation and lust this weekend. So we'll have to see what that's about. This could have, could have anything to do with anything, though. Could have something to do with anything. It doesn't have to be a person, okay? This could just be you maybe sticking to your guns about something you said you would not do. This talks about being afraid but doing something anyway, Um it does talk about soft power, though. So handling like people with kid gloves, kill, killing people with kindness. So let's see. For some of you, could you could just be practicing abstinence this week. Maybe you got to fight some physical temptation. We have the desired outcome. That's the sun, which means there's a gravitational pull to someone. That's Leo energy as well. We have right place, right time. This is fate. This is destiny. This is the wheel of fortune. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Sagittarius energy. We have long distance. Mm, some of you could be in a long distance situation, relationship or something here. And maybe you can't be close to your person. So that's why you two have to practice some level of discipline here. Somebody could be really in, could be really stimulating you um, from a distance and it feels good. But maybe you two can't act on it. I don't know, y'all. Somebody could be 48 or 44 um, or 52. Look at this. S-E-X. Mm-hmm. What else? We have creativity. <clears throat> okay, that could be a creative endeavor or project or something you're working on or things are falling into place. There's something serendipitous happening this weekend. We have refusal. Yeah, there could be distance causing you not to be able to get something you want from someone. And it could be this. Okay? Well, some of you are rejecting someone <clears throat> with refusal, rejection. Yeah, you might be rejecting someone. We have a quantum leap. And look at this. You got taming again. Taming and then corruption. Somebody could be, I don't know, that could be a job opportunity or some training next week for some of you. Maybe that you have to travel for. Some of you have overcome like an addiction to someone. You're able to reject them where you weren't before because they're corrupt. Let's get into this and see what's going on here. Look at this career change. I said you could be training on something for work. Okay. This is all about having nerves of steel. So what is what is this going on here now? Desire outcome with sex. Some of you... Um, no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Seven of Cups. This is temptation, y'all. Who is tempting you? Scorpio energy. I'm getting like an instant gratification versus versus something that has more staying power. Somebody's name could be Devin or Devereaux, a last name. Something like that. D-E-V is what I'm seeing. Devon. I just heard Destiny. Somebody's name could be Destiny. What's going on with the Seven of Cups? The two of swords, which talks about refusal, refusal to see them. Okay. I'm getting bombarded with messages here. There's a song on called War. And I'm kind of feeling like that's what, that's like, okay. So there's two things possibly playing out here. There's either somebody that's very tempting to you that you're trying to fight, you're trying to resist them. Okay. Or maybe it's the distance that's making it hard for you two to act on it. Or... <clears throat> Uh, the desired outcome is SEX. Some of you may know somebody has options and they're trying to treat you like an option and so you're rejecting them this weekend. Somebody that you know is just like, okay, it's your week this week. You know how that is. We have all made, met people like that or dated people like that where you knew that you were an option or you felt like you were. And you could be refusing and rejecting them. Okay. This is a blockage. Could be a Libra, could be a Scorpio person. Yeah, I'm going to move on. 
What's right place, right time with creativity? I feel like this is something regarding work or money playing out here. So this could be more next week than anything. Yeah, we got the tower in reverse. Okay, Scorpio, Aries, energy. What's the tower in reverse? The hangman. Two majors, Pisces, energy. So this is something that you've been waiting for that maybe you feel like is not going to come and it could be coming this weekend. The tower in reverse. And it's because you haven't given up. Two more. This feels more like work, money, creativity. The king of swords with the queen of wands. Wow. I, I heard the word powerhouse. Um, can Michael work with an energy company, the power company? I don't know why I just heard that. Hmm. Okay, so you have two people showing up here. Aries and um, an Aquarius person. The Queen of Wands is a creative inspiration. She's a go-getter. So maybe there's a decision that you're making this week with the King of Swords or some communication you're getting. This is, look at her wand, how magical it is. You know, the wands are magical, right? This is some kind of catalyst energy, some kind of communication you're getting. I feel like also some of you, there's a situation here you've gotten wiser about. Okay, but I'm seeing communication coming in and it could be something about a creative endeavor. And this is about being a go-getter and taking action on something fearlessly, being very bold and brave. It's like an opportunity comes that you've been waiting for. I don't know what that is, y'all. Let's move on. What's going on here with this long distance and refusal? You got the desired outcome again. The sun is the desired outcome. This is a magnetic attraction to somebody, y'all. For some of you, this is you... Um, and your person, if they're at a distance, y'all might be having some freaky phone conversations or something. There's definitely a lot of sexual chemistry here, but there's also a connection mentally. It's not just physical. So the sun is Leo energy. Again, it's the major for Leo. It is Leo season. It does represent a year, like a one year cycle. And it also represents the summer. So maybe this is somebody you met in the summer. It could have been this year. could have been last year. What's going on with the sun? Oh, the four of wands. Oh, this is good energy. This is twin flame, y'all. You could be saying 1111. Could be an Aries or Leo involved. A lot, of, a lot of fire here. The two of pentacles with the seven of wands. So this would be refusal. Somebody is blocking their other options for you. Somebody sees you as a desired outcome and they're blocking their other options for you. That might be what the seven of cups is here with this two of swords. Especially if it's a Scorpio or a Libra person. They might be telling other people no because they have what they want in you. Because you got the desired outcome twice. You got the queen of wands, which means somebody is ready to claim you. Somebody might be wanting to tell you they want to take this relationship to the next level here. This could be a relationship healing with the tower in reverse. Maybe you two haven't been speaking. They reach out this weekend. Y'all work it out. This could be this person putting down their other option here. Blocking their other option because you feel like home. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the hermit card. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody that's been doing a lot of work on themselves and wanting to be fair towards you. Could be somebody who is upset with themselves for how they treated you. Could be a Gemini person. Um, Taurus is here. Virgo is here. Could be a six-year age difference, two-year age difference, or relationship. Could be somebody you met at work as well. If you have a yes or no question, ask it now, and I will pull one of these. Somebody's name could be Jerry. I just heard Larry. <laughs> a lot of times when I say Jerry, I, for whatever reason, I hear Larry as well. Somebody's name could be Oliver. First or last name. I just thought Brunswick. And I'm not thinking like New Brunswick, like a place. It feels like somebody's last name could be something like that. Okay, yes or no. The answer to your question is... How can I get it off, y'all? We have nope. Okay. So that would be no. I understand I'm not in control of your destiny. So if you wanted a yes, then make it be a yes, baby. I'd like for you all to take charge of your own lives. Because I'm not in control of your life, obviously. Okay, y'all. So that is what I'm seeing. Somebody might be rejecting other people for you. Or that could be you doing it for someone that you're interested in. But y'all are at a distance. This could be something suddenly changing here. 
Um, maybe somebody suddenly fell in love with you or will this weekend and then realize that they, they got to cut off these other options because taming came out twice. Okay. You can't make that up. I just literally wrote that card out like two days ago. So for it to come out with the card that talks about taming, it's just kind of interesting. All right. So maybe you're narrowing your options down and you found the one that you want. This person is your desired outcome. Or if it's not a person, just flip it to whatever area of your life you want it to be about. Because it could be work. Okay. I'll see you all the next time. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Peace.